Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are about to see something that you have never seen before. The ultimate fighting challenge. This ring is something else. In a battle where anything can happen, anything can happen, anything can happen, and probably will. You know, when I signed up for ESPN, I didn't think it stood for the Extremely Silly Potatoes Network. <laughs> That's really funny. Here I am, a young man who loves sports. But with MMA finally going mainstream after 30 years in North America, I just don't have that much time to wait for the next big thing to emerge. Scanning through the information superhighway in hopes of landing on an impressive athletic endeavor with a myriad of exciting possible outcomes that really ramps up the entertainment value. Unfortunately, that just doesn't seem to be in the cards these days. Is it too much to ask? And that's when I realized the answer was right in front of me all along. As ever since the dawn of time, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, nothing captivated an audience quite like an open hand to someone's face. Slap! I... Evidently, one of the people credited with turning the sport we love into the billion dollar industry that it is, had exactly that same epiphany one day. A few years ago, I started watching some videos of guys slapping and I was into it immediately. And so what's a bored billionaire to do when he sees an opportunity to exploit a whole new group of wannabe combat athletes? We knew the first thing we needed to do was get sanctioned, turn this thing into a real sport. And just like that, pretty much, the successor to the UFC was born, Power Slap League, where the rules are simple, slap and get slapped, and the last one slapping is your slap champion. Okay, to be completely fair, there are a couple more rules than that. Like keep your feet on the ground when you swing and hold on to a pool noodle while you await your turn to get completely wrecked. And yes, there's a couple more, but really who cares? It's all just window dressing. Window dressing on top of brain damage. The power is on. So 10 months ago, from whenever you watch it, Dana and some of the world's top slappers gathered together a group of legitimate athletes to engage in a tournament of who can forget their childhood friends' names the quickest. In the opening contest, the Battle of the Chrises, and try not to be too shocked by this, the Chris doing the slapping KOs the Chris not doing the slapping. <laughs> who would have thunk it? And so this is our entry into the world of slap fighting. And honestly, it does just about the opposite of what's intended, as it seriously looks like a tragedy has taken place. I really hope he's okay, and I'm sure his opponent feels just as concerned for his well-being as we do. The f you get? Muscle, don't my knocked out of doing what? Is that fighting? So we're off to the races inside Dana's coke-fueled nightmare. And since the Ultimate Fighter was such a turning point for the UFC, why not just take that format and copy it as much as possible? And so we're gonna go through film, and we're gonna decide who has to slap their way into the house. Oh, so like how family members make their way into Casa White on Thanksgiving? You know, the trouble with going the reality show route is that these guys have about as much charisma as you'd expect they would if all they did was stand around and get the shit slapped out of them all day. My grandma slapped harder than that, and she ain't even alive! No chance she died of embarrassment, did she? I eat that, baby! I eat that, baby! Maybe he's too busy eating babies. As if it makes any sense whatsoever, this guy, who looks like he lost one eye, likely in slap-related shenanigans, gets to compete even though as soon as he wins his match, Dana and co. are just like, oh yeah, he's missing an eye, so he can't get cleared. Anyways, let's send in the other guy. Which is probably for the best because, oh boy, he's a real showman. Speaking of Dana's group of slap fighting scholars, you may be asking yourself, just who the heck are these guys? And to that I say, how do you not know Darius the Destroyer and the Wolverine? These guys are slap fighting royalty, the true best of the best. Their most recent fight was an epic 27 rounder. So they're tasked with coaching the new slappers, helping them learn how to slap and be slapped, which from how Dana discusses it, will somehow take more than half an afternoon in a keg full of beer. Seriously, Dana, tell us the truth. Are you trolling us? Like, I feel like you're trolling us. That feeling doesn't go away when the next two competitors hit the stage. It's Anax Religion versus Slap Jesus. You have 30 seconds. Go ahead and tell us your 
Where's all my Jesus freaks at? No, not to recruit followers, pal. To slap your opponent. Can you at least pretend like you're in the middle of a competition, please? Wow, they actually stopped the fight out of concern for the well-being of one of the slappers. Don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Now, unlike a cut on your lip, we can't see the damage that's being done to your brain, so that's all well and good. But if you get a boo-boo, we're gonna err on the side of caution. You're welcome. I came to Vegas to do work and slap the out of people and get the slapped out of me, I guess. Sounds like you really got a handle on what this sport is all about. On three, so on three, you'll do the strike. Wait, why is the ref unsure? Like, is he new? Like, newer than we are? It's over. Do not get up. He defies that order and one from the ref, telling him to stand facing his opponent. And just like that, this heavyweight bout is a one slap, one kill. We both knew whoever goes first is gonna win. And my next opponent, I guarantee you, whoever you are, you're, you're, you're gonna go down just like, just like I went down. Yeah, unless that guy wins the coin flip first too, I guess. I hit really hard in competition. I'm super interested to see how a human will survive that. Okay, wait. What were you boxing before if it wasn't humans? I've got five kids, I'm ready to show my kids, you know, you just push forward and you can, you can achieve anything. And ready to not remember who they are, apparently. Lined up right here. Okay, even if he does get KO'd, they should probably let him in the house. He just blew away more charisma than all the other guys combined. And it's not like they're not just letting anybody with two eyes into the thing anyway. Three. 20 seconds, maybe we take a knee. Maybe we take a knee? Like, since when are you his corner? Are you gonna be giving expert slapping advice to both fighters? When you're ready, come back into- To come back into what, reality? Turns out he actually is, as he does the power slap league equivalent of tapping to strikes, which everybody knows is sitting on the ground and contemplating all the choices you've made that have led up to this. He's a no-brainer for me, man. Yeah, he will be soon enough. What do you think about Anthony, though? He showed some real heart. Oh, yeah. Maybe we bring him back in another chance. It wouldn't hurt. We think he's got, you know, he's got something. Yeah, CTE and memory issues. All in my life, I used to training with guys. As much as none of us would even be surprised if men and women were competing against each other, fortunately, the women are being kept separate. But since they aren't competing against the men in the house, this whole match is virtually pointless. Left. Oh, left. Two. Left two. Oh, hey, but at least we got our first lefty. And I personally can't think of anything that would make Ned Flanders more proud. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Got some power to him. He's got some power to him? These are women we're watching. Rem oh, right. I forgot about all the head trauma. Never mind. You're doing great. <laughs> Fight's over. I can't believe I called this virtually pointless. We got a left-handed slap and then a perfect somersault. You just don't get that every day. But Darius was so impressed by Sheena that he's gonna have her come on board as his assistant coach for the season. Okay, why not? I'm here trying to make my legacy, trying to get my son and uh, my kids a better life. Your son and your kids? Hey, no wonder they call you Slap Daddy. Remember No Country for Old Men? <laughs> yeah. The guy on the right hand side reminds me of a <laughs> killer in that movie. <laughs> well, by all means, let him in the house then. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? <laughs> Look at his cheek. Honestly, it looks like his surgeon put the BBL implant in the wrong one. Oh, I want to change the world. You don't suppose he meant face, because that's certainly undergone a bit of a transformation. Like with most combat sports, it can be hit or miss. If you lift your foot, you're going to get a point deduction. Your opponent may get a brain hemorrhage, but you'll be docked a point. So weigh out those pros and cons. Some of these guys do not have what it takes. Is he serious? We see the potential in AJ. So we're gonna have AJ slap his way into the house. I gotta say, honestly, I have absolutely no idea what their criteria is at this point. And he lost the coin toss. Ready, ready as ever be. I think the coin toss is actually really important. You don't say. I think they're in for kind of a rude awakening. They might be when they try to concentrate for extended periods of time. These guys will leave this house 10 times better than when they yes. walked in. You know, I really can't see how that's at all possible. Yes. It's, it's, this is going to be a life-changing experience mm -hmm. for them in, in a lot of different ways. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? We don't want anyone, you know, having any incidents, make sure everyone's safe. Yeah, they can be, provided you send them all home and call this whole thing off. Unfortunately, literally anything short of that is kind of counterproductive to your goals. Let me show you guys the belt that you two will be fighting for. 
I was really hoping it was going to be a gold-plated face getting slapped by a diamond-encrusted hand. Such a missed opportunity. On the next episode of Power Slap, Road to the Title. Let me guess, more slapping, falling down, and a hearty serving of concussions? You know, back in the early days of MMA, the sport was finding its footing, and while there were many detractors, a lot of fight fans could see underneath there was a true competition between athletes taking place. Slap fighting is literally in no way comparable. MMA is safer than boxing because of the use of submissions? Don't care. Once a fighter's knocked out, their night is over? Huh, sounds like a pussy sport to me. Power Slap League takes all the aspects that help keep fighters as safe as possible and laughs in their face, right before winding up and smacking them in it. So that's episode one of Power Slap, Road to the Title. Apparently there's going to be a whole season of this, which I really hope no one watches, but I suspect his viewership will be a whole lot healthier than the participants, so who knows? Maybe this truly will be the next big combat sport, and we'll have no choice but to come back to this abomination in the future. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to stand back, measure off the distance, and slap that like button with your right hand on through. I'm the J-Shot. Thanks for watching, and all the best.